Hi, I'm Buster, and welcome to A&B Wood Products. Today, we have a large chunk of catalpa here that we're going to cut up. It does have quite a bit of rot in the bottom, so... We could end up with another um, very holy tree, but because it is a catalpa, we are going to give it the benefit of the doubt. It goes in there about four foot or something at least, so... We'll see what comes out. It's a good-sized log, though, so... Hopefully with the crotch, you know, still got quite a bit of meat up here. So hopefully we'll get some decent slabs out of it. We'll go ahead and whack it up. And then on deck here, have a really nice piece of black walnut, nice big crotch. That'll be the next thing that drags down into the saw. We'll get to that once we get this cut up.
Roger Matson uh, won the hat on the comments on the last video. And now we're going to take a look and see what we got here. Please uh, get a hold of us either at 208 447 9691 or. Um, Leave another message under the message we sent you, uh, letting us know what your address is so that we could get that sent to you. All right, congratulations. Those top pieces kind of not held together so good. Looks like what? Looks like big catalpa. Big? Yeah. Well, so far the wood looks pretty good. But yeah, you probably don't want to see the big uh, rot, rot mark. <laughs> It'll get better in the middle. Uh, no, it's not going to get a lot worse in the middle. <laughs> Let's have some stuff going on there, though. Yeah. Yeah, like bugs chewing on it. Not on that one. Well, yeah, a little bit on that one. We kind of already knew that was going to happen. <laughs> yeah, we're going to leave the broom. Well, I don't know. Oh, but, I leave the broom. You know, you do have the hose sitting right there. Yeah. Bees like the wood. They like the wood. Oh, <coughs> sorry. More bug holes. More holy wood. Oh, so we we haven't even got down to the two arms yet. No, no. So we already got bug hole in the first arm. Yeah. That ain't good. Yeah. Eh, eh, that's not good. Well, unfortunately, this is wood that come from our eh, eh, lovely recycling place. So we have no idea how long some of this stuff has been sitting there for. But yeah, we knew this was going to be a difficult one, <laughs> to say the least. I told you it was going to go all the way up, though. I told you I only have one chance. <laughs> Big hole. Huh? Big hole. Yeah, and that hole probably connects to the other hole. <laughs> I tried to convince him not to get in this one, but yeah. He was the one who picked them all out. I told you not this one because it was all rotted there when we were picking them out and you said to get it anyways. So, nope, that one's on you again. Nope. Yep. This no, it's not. You seem to like the rot and stuff. <laughs> you do too. This is the log I said not to take. You said, heck with it, just get it. I said, but it's all rotten. You said, it's okay, just get it. <laughs> hmm. Starting to look like the bur oak. <laughs> well, the bur oak didn't have any rot in it. I thought the burrow, the, uh, what was that? 
black locusts? Yeah, the black locusts that you got and paid $400 for them. <laughs> Let's see. Um, this one, though, should be pretty good because we don't have any rot on the this is going to be the black walnut there's no rot on either side so we're kind of assuming this one's going to be a good one so we're excited about cutting this log up it's going to be a pretty log but both sides are pretty intact so it'll be interesting oh we're getting better people look at this big a hole I think we're just going to call this one good and not even bother cutting any more of this thing. <clears throat> the only usable part is this little tiny piece right there. Yep. Mm -hmm. I got no more faith in this log. No faith at all. Snakes. That's not a snake. Longer snake. That's not a snake. I think the only usable piece was that piece right there. Looks like a slide. I told you this is the most usable piece. It still has a lot of rod on it. Well, that's the most usable piece right there. That's it. Nothing else. <laughs> oh, God. That would have been really pretty wood if it didn't have that mess going on. Hey, it's almost an H. This is definitely going to be firewood. I'm not even going to let you stack this. <laughs> oh, that might be a kind of a usable e end piece. You just have to cut off the good stuff. Get rid of the bad stuff. That's a good piece right there. Mine is a little tiny bit of hole. But that's a pretty good piece, an uh, end piece. Yeah, you could just cut off these two, um, that piece and that piece. You can make a little bit of wood out of this. Bees like it though. So it's not a complete dud. Probably because somewhere there is a nest that you're messed with. It's a oh, there he goes again. Yeah, see, that's a pretty nice piece right there. This only this side here has ended up being pretty good. Oh, not no more. I spoke too soon. Oh, that would have been some pretty color, though. Now it's going to get crappy, and look at the color in it. That's messed up. That messed up. Hey. Uh, 
Oh, the color is actually getting pretty good in this one. Yeah, you'll just have to cut all the rod off and keep these end pieces. You know? Some of the end pieces would still make like pretty jury boxes and stuff. Man, that beast sure like that wood. Look at all these bees. Is there a nest in this wood? Not possible. Okay. I'm allergic to bees and they're swarming me. A new loofah? No. It's a giant sponge. <laughs> hey, we could make a bench out of this. That would be perfect for my bench. That would be perfect piece for my bench. And it's pretty colored. Can we get that for my bench? Oh, that's really kind of pretty. Well, it's all the further down that I cut it. Huh. Actually, it looks like it's uh, getting more solid down underneath. As he destroys it. Nice. Yeah, yeah, nice and solid. I'm talking about down here. I'm not talking about where you're playing. Are you having fun? What are you doing? Looking for the shovel. <laughs> so now he's going to dig in the wood. Yeah. Oh, there's some of this. Oh, now you're digging in. You're digging in the good stuff now. That looked a little hollow. We just make more of a mess than what this wood's worth. Yep. I don't know if there's enough <laughs> left there. Now <laughs> well, they're flipping it and trying to. I don't know. The better piece looks like it's down here. Yeah. You can get a couple more chunks out of there. So yes. Yeah, because like I said, we can just cut up here. Um, just cut right there and then we have all this the prettier wood down here we can make some nice wood out of this it's just going to be a little work it's just going to have to get saw out yeah, I can clear this and make at least one more cut I think I can make two more cuts with where it sets see what it looks like <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there's some nice pretty wood there, though. <clears throat> like these end pieces right here. <clears throat> Somebody could do something with it. Not sure what, but it is Kotopa. And that, some of this stuff right there is really solid, so. 
They don't make so nice wood. Not all of it was bad. Just five gallons of epoxy, it'll be great. Just some of it was bad. Ugh. I think we're gonna get more usable of wood out of this than that other thing that you did. Uh-huh. No. Yes, sir. What are you doing? I gotta slide some of this stuff back out of the way. Oh. Uh, Okay, guys, while he's cleaning stuff up, and we'll, we'll come back and kind of show you if we dig anything else. <laughs> so, we'll be back. <laughs> he said there was a couple pieces that were okay. Huh. Yeah, that's pretty good. Sure looks like that side that is going to be a little bit better. Really? You don't think down here is going to be any better? With that knot? We'll find out in a minute. Well, guys, we're probably going to end the video <laughs> on a good note. Um,. What's the name of that guy? Madis Madsen? Roger Madsen? What is it? Roger Madsen? Oh, Roger Madsen. Please, if, if you uh, see this, uh, leave us a message uh, letting us know what your address is so that we can get you that hat sent over. Uh, you are the winner of that little contest we had, so we need to get that to you. So if you could do that, that would be great. Buster. I'm going to get all the rocks off so I can cut it. Oh, he's going to get his rocks off. Yeah. <laughs> and we'll give something away when we cut the walnut. We'll see if anybody will watch that video. Yeah, see if anybody will watch this nice big walnut that we're going to cut. So. But anyway, if you're in southwest Idaho and have a big log, we can cut it up for you. 208-447-9691. And again, guys, please subscribe and comment and like our channel. Uh, once we get to that thousand subscriber, we're going to get a really good prize away. I'm talking of at least a $500 gift card and a bunch of other stuff that's going to go with it. And hopefully, uh, if it's doable, a piece of wood. So please, guys, um, subscribe. That's the most important thing to us right now. Without you guys, we weren't going to be able to do this. So. Uh, we really appreciate all our fans and our subscribers. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. So my husband decided to real quick cut it. So I just figured I'd pop it back in real quick and let you guys see that. Yeah, it's a couple. Okay. No. Uh, with a little epoxy won't fix it. Uh, uh, uh. Not too bad, I meant for the most part. Get rid of, like I said, cut some of it off and make a couple nice pieces. Anybody know where I can get 55 gallon drum of epoxy? Yeah, we need to figure out where, uh, who sells the 55 gallon things of epoxy. Because I'd like to do a uh, Table, try my hand at a little a table, but I, I don't think I use this. But I do need to get a little bit more epoxy before I try and tackle something like that. But anyways, I just figured you guys like to see what the rest of this was. So, all right, guys, bye.